here to on to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So a while ago a user requested um, on the main menu can I show how to make a character slowly walk around it. Now I didn't know this tutorial for quite a while because I had planned for the space tutorial for the AI system and now that we've done it we can implement it to our land game um, AI movement and it's really really simple to do but the only thing we do have to do is make it um, into its own script and not an AI script else it won't work. But we can. I should be will as well, it's easier. So what we're going to do is first drag a character on because we need a character of some kind. So, what we'll do is come to uh, the prefabs folder, which is in resources, and we'll grab the character and stick them just here. As you can see, they are huge, so we'll make them 111. Perfect. And drag it up. We'll get rid of the stuff we need to get rid of again. So back spawn, body spawn, female spotlight, headlight, make blah blah. We don't need none of that. So we just need the character. As you can see, they are huge. So again, I'm going to bring them down to 0.7, just so they match the um, scenery a little bit, so that works. So we can get rid of the scripts while on them. So we don't need these, we don't need audio source, we don't need character loading. Don't need box collider, but we do need rigid body, but just turn gravity off. And that'll work fine. So we're going to go here and we'll type in fact, we'll go to our scripts. Where's our scripts folder? So on our entities in here, we're going to get enemy. In fact, we're going to make a new folder called... In fact, we'll rename this enemy folder called NPC. So any other one. And we'll stick shop inside NPC. So NPC means non-playable character. So any non-playable characters goes in here, like all of these. So we're going to get one. And we're going to create a new script. And we'll call it land enemy AI just like that so we can attach this to our character here so we're gonna go up top because that's not attaching which is weird and we're gonna just untick the light view so we can actually see the scene yes we do have ground so now that it's allowed us to attach it let's attach it and enemy AI so all we'll do is open up that and space AI here just open them both so we can rip the code from one to other but most of it is already there it's really simple so we've got that and we've got space perfect so we're going to use the game objects again but I'm going to use spheres this time just to show you you can use anything so we'll start here so the character will start here perfect so that'll work yep so we've got the sphere we'll just make it a little bit smaller just so you don't really need to but that's how small I want it and I'm going to get rid of the sphere collider because you don't need it so I'm going to call this um, main, in fact we can just call this waypoint1, it doesn't need to be anything special, duplicate it, move it to where it's going to go, 3, now this one you can just skip all of this because you're not going to see them anyway, and we'll call it 4, and then he's going to come round, well she, is going to come round, and we'll say 5, now what I want to do is make him come up to the character, I mean the camera. So if we go up here and increase the size of the 3D gizmos, you should be able to see, you can see where the camera is. So instead of having to click the camera, click the waypoint, click the camera, click the waypoint, we can just duplicate it, bring it close up to the camera, we'll say 6, and then we'll just quickly make them duck in front of the camera, so 7, and then one more just to make it better, 8, we'll go back. So if we just click a character, main camera, you see you can't see any of the things, but they are good enough. So if we go here and drag our character, we'll just drag him down, or she down, I apologise. And now if we haven't put a box collider or a rigid body on, they'll just be able to sink through the floor. But if all these are the same height, then it shouldn't matter. So one thing about space, but it's just good, you can put them any height. But on land, you have to put them so the character isn't going to begin floating. So just put them roughly there. So the character will go towards it, but then what we are going to do eventually is make it so it's all stable. Because if you put it in midair, like so, the character will face it and go up towards it and fly. Brilliant if you want flying, but not yet. That's what we, we don't want that. So you've got that there. Perfect. Now we can all we do is take untick mesh render on them all. Completely gone, but it'll work. So we're going to go back to our scripts here, and we're going to begin writing up here. So the first thing we need is an array to actually make it work. So we're going to type var waypoints, and it'll be transform, and it'll be an array. 
equals new transform. In fact, we'll not put new transform, we'll just put equals array. Otherwise, uh, otherwise we'll limit ourselves to eight on every other level. If you leave it blank, you can put anything on, any amount. So we also create another variable called var, private var, current <coughs> waypoint. So that's how I put me currently on. Integer equals zero. Simple as that. And then we can just come down here and we'll just get the main bits from out of here. So these two lines here. Because we've already discussed this many, many times now. We don't need it. So target equals waypoints um, and current waypoint. Like that. Move direction equals target minus equals that. Perfect. Now what we can do down here is if. And then we do the thing here. So if move direction, all this, perfect. The reason we're actually copying and pasting it is because we have done all of this before. So if move direction is more than, I apologize, I forgot to zoom in. If move direction is less than five, then we activate this feature here. It looks at it, increases it, does whatever. But then after this, we'll put else, and this is where we actually give the character speed. So if we come back up, it's this one here, times that. We'll just set it some manual speed, it doesn't really matter. So up here we'll type var speed int equals zero. So speed, we'll set this one here. So give them strength, etc, speed, push them forwards at, we'll say 10. So if you haven't got this code, I'm going to, um, it'll be in the description, or it'll be right here. Um, we do have already have done this code, it'll come down. Is it less than five? Else, push it forwards, hit it, repeat it. Really, really, really simple to do. So we're going to attack, come back to our character because it is already. But we currently have an error on line 13. It doesn't understand what waypoint is because waypoint does not exist no more. We call it current waypoint, which we should have kept it the same, but never mind. So we'll begin assigning all our waypoints to it. So we've got eight waypoints. So one. So as you can see, I've kind of messed up a little bit on what I've done. So what I'm going to go is go back to all these and click them and see where I've messed up. So as you can see, it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then what I've done is I've not duplicated it as I've moved it. So I'm going to duplicate this one again and put it where it needs to be here and call it six. I never, I just kept moving it without duplicating. You were all probably sat there going lol, <laughs> but yeah. So seven, so now that's all done, we can come back, six, seven. And so what we're going to do is go on and click play, and we're going to watch our character slowly go around, hopefully. So see, boom, ooh, they've gone. So it works okay, but it's a little bit fast and not really very good. So what we can do is move the waypoints about, adjust them, make sure it's okay, and definitely take that speed down. So we're going to come back up here to character and not create a particle system and we'll set the speed to 2 so they're slowly walking and then we're also going to make them look at what the target is. So it's really really simple, we're going to come down here and put look um, transform dot look at uh, waypoints current waypoint. So it'll always look at the waypoint it's currently following. Simply like that. So now that should slow it down a lot, hopefully, because it was too fast. And then slowly just move around and it'll come in front of us. We can eventually make them walk as well, holding a weapon or something. So as you see, five is not well for this, so we're going to turn it down too. The reason was, is it was coming to around here, then saying, okay, I don't need to move no more. But it does. So it needs to come to here, so it's going to carry on. And that's not what we need, then it'll come to here. So if we turn it to to it, it'll pretty much go right up to it and then carry on. So put that back there, adjust it a little bit. It is always about adjusting it. So now we can, if we keep seeing down here, we can see what's going off and we can click play. So you see, it moves. It's good, but two's a little bit still not very good, so we'll change it to one. That is just how closely you are going up to it. We do need to tweak it just to make it right, else it'll look weird. He goes pretty much right up. I apologize, she. She goes right up to it now. You can't see her. It works well. So we stick her up here. And you'll see, we watch it. Hmm, what do we click? I don't know. What should we click? Ba da 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 da. 
then it'll come and then just randomly walks past us. Random, really good. So that works. But first thing I'm going to do, what, just to end it, is I'm going to drag this damn camera back. Because you can hardly see anything. Just so it's not peeking at the top. Just so you can actually see what we're looking at. She'll wander off as always. So I sat there, what do we click? Hmm. <laughs> So, just randomly walks past us, no one bothers, it's cool, works really well, thank you to the guy who suggested that, that was on my Facebook group, which he, he tried to join, um, just to give Facebook group as a thing, the videos come up when I upload them unlisted, so you can only get them through Facebook, then after a few people's visited it, I'll come back and get it to public, just a little bonus for Facebook group, so please join my Facebook group, thank you for watching, codes are in the description, and see you next time.